Hello, hello, hello. So today what I want to talk about is turning your 3D model into a set of plans uh, with scale and dimensions. Uh, and also a little materials list for some of the pertinent objects that you're going to be including in your space. So this is the um, project that we're going to be working with. This is uh, the 3D model that was used in fabrication and building of our, uh, our current residence. So um, what you see here ends up and uh, after a few minor hurdles becomes this. So yeah, this was, uh, this was all done in Rhino and um, also brought into Blender and the Unreal Engine, which we will be doing later on for visualization and kind of walkthrough purposes. So let's start off by switching into shaded so you can see all the layers. Uh, just like with anything else we've done so far in Rhino, we always make sure that anything we're going to be applying materials to will have uh, its own set of layers so that you can easily and accurately represent the object. So we are going to start by creating some views. So I want to go ahead and make sure that this is saved as a separate file. And I'm going to save it as... d and I've got a folder that I'm working with for the entire project as with any of these projects you do want to make sure that you are uh, creating a folder that you are going to be using for the entirety of the project so that everything is organized you don't want materials on your desktop or anything loose because it all gets linked inside of the file and anything you lose will be lost forever so, or well, until you find it again. But anyway, just keep it organized. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start off by creating plans. And the plans that I use to actually build this house are several layers of drawings. And these are, this is the PDF that was actually stamped as the build set. So I've got a site plan that actually shows the neighborhood. Uh, a lot of things here are redacted for um, anonymity and I've got you know notes everywhere sheet indexes that kind of stuff on here and so we're kind of mimicking this but in a much quicker fashion just so you can read architecturals if you're seeing them um, or uh, be able to visual communicate uh, an idea and so yeah, this is gonna be, I think, valuable for that. So this is the first one, first page, A1, which shows the site plan and has the kind of table of contents, if you will. Um, and then we've got the previous house plan, the new, uh, the previous house uh, uh, footprint, and then the new house footprint. On this one, this is actually one of the more important sheets. This one has all of the elevations and also a site plan or a uh, plot plan that shows the actual uh, space around the object, uh, around the structure, uh, including backyard, front yard, offsets of the walls, um, and that kind of stuff. And this is the floor plan. And we're gonna be doing something very similar to the floor plan. You can see also here, I've got a door and window schedule. We'll be creating a schedule mostly just to kind of give you an overview of, of, of making a schedule and, and what they're for but uh, it's not gonna be as detailed as this. So in here we also have uh, the square footage, showing the square footage of each space. That's all um, pertinent information. The next plan is uh, the um, sections and the uh, plan of, of the roof or of the interior. And so the sections show like the insulation, the crawl space in the attic. It also shows the separation of the uh, trusses and the roof. Um, I've also got important things like smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors indicated on here and then um, fire sprinklers. So those are the the basic plans that were used in fabrication uh, along with of course engineering plans which we're not going to get into at all. So with that said let's go ahead and get started. Okay so I've already saved this as a new drawing. Uh, calling it 2D. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of clean it up a little bit and think about what layers I want to uh, indicate on my plans. And I'm going to go to a top view here. And I'm going to first turn off the roof. 
Actually, you know what? First, I'm going to select the objects of the roof, just the roof object here. And then I'm going to invert. I'm going to do my first plan will be my roof plan. Isolate the object. OK. And actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to do just the roof. I'm going to do the roof and the plot plan all as one here. So let's do um, lot all. Select all that, select objects, and then I'm going to also select my roof, select objects, isolate, and this is going to be my plot plan. So nice to have everything organized into layers. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type make 2D. Actually, sorry, escape. First, I want to make sure my units are set up right. Let's go to properties. I know I've got my object here in meters because I've been playing around with exporting it. So I'll go to my units. I'm going to switch this to feet. Go ahead and hit OK. It's going to change the scale factor a little bit. OK. Do that right now. And then I'm going to have it. make 2D. Select the objects to draw. That's this. Enter. And I'm using just these settings. I'm not going to show hidden lines. I'm just doing kind of silhouettes. And then I'll hit OK. All right. And so that gives me two dimensional vector line data for all of my site plan. Cool. So now I'm going to go back to my top here. All right, so next we want to do our um, floor plan, but we don't need the roof and we don't need any of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and turn all that off. And then there's other stuff in the roof plan that I don't need. I can just turn off all of that. Okay. And that all looks fine to me. Um, so then I'm going to select these objects Oh, actually, first, let me move this over because it's going to go right in that same spot. So move that over. And I'll select these objects and go make 2D. OK. All right, so this looks good now. We've got both of those. And I'm going to continue to just keep moving things around here. All right. Next one I want to actually do is um, let's go ahead and bring everything back here. Make sure all my lights are on. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go to the left view here. And let's go ahead and put it into shaded so we can see what it looks like. We want to get rid of, maybe hide that wall. And I'm going to do a side elevation here. So I'm going to go ahead and do make 2D. And select the whole thing here. And then enter okay okay switch back to the top and let's see how it looks beautiful <clears throat> so this one I'm probably just going to go ahead and draw a rectangle around it I don't need all of this stuff, so I'm going to split the, uh, actually I could just trim, use this as a cutting blade, enter, trim that all out, okay. cool, so that's one elevation. And then I'm going to go to the other view. So um, switch views, 
right click if you have a Mac, uh, Mac and go to set view. And I'm going to go to left. Is that the right way? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. And oh, again, I forgot. Oh, I did move it over. That's right. Should go right there then. Left view. Okay. And make 2D again. And I'm just going to do this process uh, for the front and the back, and I'll come back. All right. So here we go. These are the different views. I got my uh, site plan or my, uh, my plot plan. I got my uh, walls. I got my roof somewhere. Where did my roof go? Oh, my roof's right there. Um, I've got my front elevation. I've got my back el front, back left and right elevations. And I think I'm ready now to start my layout. So before I do my layout, I'm gonna go through and start playing with the lines and making sure everything looks right. Um, I've gotta do some hatching and you know, if I've got extra things that I don't want, I can always delete them. Um, yeah, like maybe this line right here, I don't need. And then, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and just do that right now, clean up this stuff. I'll speed up and I'll be right back. All right, so I cleaned it up pretty much to where I want it to be. Um, I've also gone through and made sure that I've got um, nice dimension, like all of my walls and stuff are working all right. I can. Go to say one of my layers here um, and go to edit, select objects by color. And then I can isolate it. And I know that my walls were all on, whoop, were all on one layer. Like isolate, okay. And so I can check this out, because this is, I got a hatch. The plan views, typically the walls have a hatch to them. So we're gonna make sure that we do that over here. Oops, I think those are. Um, so once I have this plan here that I'm gonna hatch, I'm gonna type the word hatch. And I'm going to select the lines I want to hatch, enter, and then, I'm gonna get this menu here where I can change the hatch style and I'm gonna use the line hatch style. I'm gonna set my rotation at 45. I'm gonna set my scale at four, uh, let me do four, four. And then hit okay. And that's gonna all be on my bathtubs layer, right? <laughs> Well, I don't want that on my bathtubs layer. So let me go ahead and create a layer for hatches. I'm gonna do la layer for hatches and dimensions, kind of call it the same thing. So, oops, I don't want it on my roof layer. Let's go to the very top, click up here, new layer. Dims and hatch. Okay, so then I'm gonna change object layer and I'm gonna set this layer as active. So I'm doing that from now on. And I'll change this object layer, make sure I get it all. Cool. And then I'm gonna end my isolation by right clicking. And I also wanna hatch this. So I got this group together, hatch. And I'll just use the same settings. Go ahead and hit okay. Very good. And technically you could come through here and hatch things as well um, with different types of hatches. I could set up boundary of here. Click inside, it surrounds it and says, this is what we're gonna hatch and then hit enter. And with something like this, oh, I forgot to set boundaries around the windows as well, which I should have. Um, you can 
get some new hatches if you want to, uh, but I can just also use the, the pluses sign here. Uh, usually the hatches you have an indication of um, of whether or not it's stucco or any of that kind of stuff as far as materials go. So if you look at, for example, let's zoom in on it. I've got the roof shingles hatched a certain way. You know, you can do that kind of stuff with your, your hatch marks, but um, I'm not even gonna mess with that. So I think this is good enough for what I'm doing. Um, and next step up is to start making a layout. So I'm gonna add a new layout and I'm gonna make it 30 by 42 because I've got a large plan here. If you've got a smaller plan, 24 by 36 is uh, kind of a more standard size. This is uh, for a little bit larger drawings, but that's fine because it'll allow me to fit my whole site plan on, or my whole plot plan, I should say, on this drawing. So I'm here. Let's go ahead and add some detail views. So go to layout, add detail view, and I'll draw my rectangle right here. Uh, and I also probably want to start my title block before I get too far along. So I'm just going to kind of draw a rectangle to just knock out my title block, draw another one, give myself a little area down here. And I like to round fillet the radius of one and oops, let's radius these. I'll leave that one. And then I can play with my line weight properties as well. So I'm gonna go here and then go to properties and go to print width by layer. Um, I can do, I don't know, 0.6. and print display. I'm gonna go ahead and set that on so I can see how thick the line looks. Okay. Enter. And that just helps me as I'm playing with my layout here to make sure that it all looks good, okay. All right, so first thing I want to do here is double click inside. I'm going to move this over here, double click out, click here, and I'm going to um, set this to 1 8 equals 1 feet in the model. And then double click inside and, oh, it's selected, put it right there. Okay, um, and let's see, what is going on here with print display stay on color, print, print, okay. And I'm gonna go to print here, just to bring up the menu. And it says output color, I'm gonna change that to black and white then close. Oh, okay, I also did this wrong because this is, I'm like, there's so much detail on that. All right, so I'm gonna do that one, double click out, and then I gotta move that over. So let me go to the top view. So I'm just gonna do a couple more um, displays here. Let's move this up here. Just have them spread out so that you can make little display windows that match up. Okay.
All right, so let's add a detail view. This will be for the floor plan. Enter, add a detail view. One, two, three, four detail views here. And this will be for all of our detail views. And I'm gonna scale these all the same for right now. So if I select this, 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 and this, I can set this to one quarter equals one foot. So that's gonna give me quarter inch scale. Okay, so move this over and find my floor plan. I'm gonna have to change the dimensions a little bit on this so I can just pull that out a little bit. Okay, and then this one, and you don't wanna zoom, right? You wanna kinda of pan, I guess. Well, you know what, forget it. You can zoom and then just fix the, uh, it changes the, the display viewport. So let's go to first, go to the front of the house here, zoom, enter, draw a box around it, it'll make it fit. Okay, do this one. Go at the back of the house. Zoom, enter, draw a box around it, make it fit. Okay. And then we'll do left side. And right side. All right, and then select the detail view, and I'm wondering one quarter equals one. It's too big, right? So we've got to do maybe three. No. Yeah, three sixteenths equals one. Yeah, let's do three sixteenths inch scale. Okay. This one. Three, sixteen, one, okay. And these might even have to be an eighth inch. What's nice is you can, of course, have multiple scales on each one. So one eighth inch works fine on this. And just, we wanna probably change this in a second, like right what we're doing here so we remember. Okay. So, we can see we've got a couple of little issues here so far, and we'll fix those in a second. The hatch marks are off, um, and probably need to fix our dimensions. But let's first label everything here. So we'll just do text, okay. And I'm gonna do 0.25 inch. And first one, Plot plan. Okay. And I'm just going to alt copy these around. And you know what though? I think it might need to even be a little bit bigger than that. Let's do 0.35 for this plot plan. All right, then we'll go front. Oops.
and we'll underline everything. Okay, and let's see first. So I'm just gonna hit print, and that's gonna show me kind of what it looks like. This is how you can kind of tell when you're looking at, all right, well, I don't like the distance between this and this and this and this, it all looks a little funny. So I'm gonna fix some of this stuff. So let's go ahead and move some of these things around so they look a little better spacing-wise. Boom, down. And look again. Okay, I'm gonna fix it a little bit more. Okay, so it is ready now um, for the dimension or for the uh, scale factor. So we've got here, and we'll make it smaller. I usually do that, 0.2, and I'll go one slash eight inch equals one apostrophe dash zero inches. Okay. Boom. And then I just copy this. Well, I can just do it again. Hit enter, brings up the same command. And this one is one quarter equals a foot. Oops. Okay. Uh, enter again. Okay, so now we've got our floor plans and all that. All we need to do now is some dimensions. So, with the dimensions, we'll go to our preferences first because I'm sure they're not right. Properties, um, and then we go to annotation style, and we add a new one. This new one will be architectural feet and inches. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and go to height, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and let's see, text, auto, dimensions, above the line is good, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. This is just uh, changing some of the default spacing and stuff. Okay, arrows, nope, we're using ticks, 0.2, you get the idea. And I'm going to actually change my resolution to the nearest inch, so it will round off to the nearest inch. You do not want to use this when you're manufacturing small objects, but with a building, an inch here or there is just normal. All good. Okay, so let's see now. Oh, and then also hatch. Go back to our hatch settings here. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. We'll go to preferences and there's hatch in there as well. And we'll fix our hatch marks here. So let's go to hatch, enable hatch scaling off. Okay, beautiful. So let's try out our dimensions, see how they look. So I'm gonna start off with my plot plan. Let's go for full dimensions on the plot. So I can go here, all the way back to right there, and pull it off. And for some reason it is not 
enabled. So let me go back one more time. File, properties, annotation styles. There we go. Okay. So I'm just using the dim command for dimensions. Go from front to back. And there, that looks better, 185 feet. And then this is a diagonal. And uh, so you wanna make sure that you use dim aligned because you wanna get the dimension of the diagonal. So we go from there to there. And this is also on an angle. Okay, so that tells the dimension of the wall, but let's go all the way here. And you, you know, these dimensions are so customizable. I could go um, back to my properties here and change it so that the orientation where the, the uh, um, above the line, in line, no, above the line. Hmm. Yeah, it didn't change much. Yeah, I, I kind of like don't like that. But anyway, it's fine. It, it makes it easier when you're reading the dimensions left to right. Okay, so that gives us the overall plan. And we do need to do one more dim aligned for the front. And then I'll have to move my plot plan stuff. Okay, and I mean, you can do all kinds of fun stuff, like if we went back to the top view here and we wanted to actually just measure the entire square footage of this area, we could do it by going to um, drawing a polyline first and just kind of tracing the bounds of the lot. And then if I, ooh, I accidentally extruded that. <laughs> All right. Oh, I didn't make my connection there. If I can hatch in here, solid, okay. And then I can go dim area and draw the outline again. Okay, so this is um, 10,827 square feet. That gives you a little more than a quarter of an acre, I believe. So now I can even put that back in my layout here if I wanted to. I can come back and go. That's enough. Okay. All right. So let's continue dimensioning. Um, so I'm going to just keep dimensioning this whole thing and you can, um, you know, just figure out what the pertinent stuff is and we'll go from there.
All right, so we're looking pretty good here. Um, I did go back and added the windows and doors back in. They were not um, on the, uh, the model before. So I've put them in and now we look something like this. Okay, so I think it's looking pretty good. The last thing I wanna do on my plan here uh, is to add a materials list here. So the way I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna draw a rectangle and I'll just do it, you know, like about this big and then I'll do another rectangle and kind of connect it right there. And then I'm going to do a text object here and call it materials. And I'm gonna change this to 0.35. Okay, put it right there. And then I'm gonna draw a line from right below it there, all the way across. So we do a double line there. That'll give us nice separation. And then I'm gonna do a line here and one from the midpoint straight down. And then I'm gonna array this one in the X direction. I want just one, that's this direction. Y direction, I want um, maybe six. And Z direction one, and then I'm gonna use this point to that point for the spacing, enter. And so now I'm just going to use text to fill this in and I'll do floor first and I'll do, oh, let me change the size of this down to 0.2. Okay. And I'll array this as well. Same way, same way, same way. Then go to there. Select all of them, Alt, bring it over here. Cool, so now we can edit each one of these. So the floor, I'm gonna use hardwood. Okay, and then the walls will be, you know, if they're gonna be brick, you'd put brick. We're gonna put uh, light, oops. Um, eggshell. And actually, I want to copy all this down one more here. Or move down one, and then copy this from this base point to this base point. And Alt copy. Name. Okay. Okay. Floor, hardwood, walls, light, gray, eggshell. This one I will change to, let me do some uh, kitchen. Great washed solid wood. And you can add as many of the materials uh, for, for the objects you're putting in your scene. But that's just kind of an example of how that's gonna work. Then the next step is to uh, create the title block. Okay, so I filled in a little bit in the title block here. So typically with title blocks, the type of things that you would find in there would be, you know, the name of the, uh, the architectural firm or the designer. Uh, logo and an address, but I'm putting here instead of logo and participant names in the group project. 
um, location, so usually an address of a physical location. Um, yours can be any location you want. Uh, the date that the drawing was done, uh, who the principal uh, design drawing person is. If it's more than one person, then you can put more names there. And the sheet number. So usually there are a lot of sheets in an overall set of plans. And uh, this one here I've titled A1 for kind of like architectural one, just kind of a basic naming convention. So once that's all done, uh, all you gotta do is export, uh, export it as a PDF if you have a Mac or uh, save as a PDF if you have a PC. And we will check the line weights. So there we go, save that. We'll save that in my folder. We'll look at it, display color, no. We'll do black and white. Output, vector output is great. Resolution is great. We will do a custom size, and that size will be 42 by 30. Okay, scale. Um, we will not be doing layout. We will, yes, we will be doing layout, I'm sorry. View, output, and scale, layout, fine, perfect. Scale 100%. Perfect. One to one scale. Make sure that's selected. Okay, okay. And then, okay. File successfully saved, and let's open it up. All right, so there we have it. That is our plan for the project, and um, a lot of really pertinent dimensions, and kind of a nice intro into architectural drawings and such. Thank you very much, have a great day.